Hello everyone, this is Rocco. I hope everyone is having a fantastic morning. Uh, we are testing out the new 10 not 10 update this morning. I'm not gonna have any more than this. This is gonna be a one-shot video. Um, this is gonna be in medium um, heavy rain. Uh, it's not really heavy right now. It was heavy just a little bit ago. But um, so first observation, we still have our speed limit at 25 mile an hour. Uh, second observation, the GPS is currently working. Third observation, I saw we have new map data finally. I'm so excited for this. Unfortunately, it didn't fix the speed limit sign. Come on, fix it. It's 45 on this road. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, waiting for that to be fixed. That'll be nice. Maybe it fixed some other speed limit, so we'll see. But this is our Saluda test we're doing today. Let's go ahead and up our speed a little bit. Uh, so Saluda map data, if you've long time viewers have seen completely terrible map data. Completely messed up, turned on the wrong road, maps all over the place. We're gonna see if this fixes it. Will be very interesting. If you look at the release notes here, tiny phantom brake for that car, but I, I don't see anything wrong with it. it didn't like, I just kind of slowed just a little bit. It wasn't anything like sharp. So if we look at our uh, release notes here. So the first one is one of the ones I'm looking at. Um, so it went around that truck as if it was coming out into my lane. Huh. Well, we'll talk about that later. Um, so this this update doesn't have a lot of. Um, enhanced bits, I'd say, based on the release notes. However, um, uh, it is a recall. Yeah, <laughs> the I think that term used to change big time. Uh, they was like, oh, Tesla recalled 800,000 vehicles. No, oh, there's a huge, uh, huge uh, safety issue with the Tesla cars. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't even understand, like. It, it really does. The, the news media eats it up and like, oh, there's a bunch of recall. My like, Tesla's already fixed it before the recall notice was out, and like probably has already pushed it, like to most of the cars. I'm like it's not a big deal. Like, and I didn't even use the setting that allowed the. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, it was the stop sign, of California stop. That's what they call it. Uh, where you basically just like go up to a stop sign. There's no one around. I was just roll through it You're basically gonna roll through it at, at slow speed. So let's see if this is fixed um, This is an improved slowdown, let's say This is fixed heck yes um, Every other time every time I've ever done I think three other times I've done this um, It would try to stop the stop sign on the other side of the road and it did not try and stop at all this time. So that's very good. We'll see if it does here. So so far, like with this rain and dark weather, it's doing very well, I think. Um, it's, it's staying in the road. Uh, I'm not really getting any phantom braking. Got a couple weird maneuvers earlier, but nothing crazy, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. But otherwise, it's been very good. Uh, so far What we're looking for our GPS is off a little bit as you can see But that doesn't seem to be affecting it too much What I'm seeing here, and I think this is not the spot yet I'm not entirely sure yeah, so it they fixed it Yeah, right here Yeah, you can still see it's a little bit off but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, let's see if it makes this turn. Yeah. Turn left onto Gaffney Street. They fixed. Okay. Let's, let's, well, the, the the map data shows it's fixed. Well, turn. Hell yes, everyone. That is fixed. That is fixed. That's awesome. That's the power of new map data, which, like, Tesla says they don't want to rely on map data. That's critical. 
Let's go. We, we want to go back here. So let's see if we can add this. Now turn left onto Andrews Street. Uh, wait a second. No, I want... Okay, that's not going to be a disengagement. Why is it giving us this but not letting us choose it? I don't quite un oh that road doesn't exist either okay so map data isn't perfect like I don't think this exists um I'm gonna make it take a left because this is the route we want to go we want to take a left it's like it doesn't acknowledge this as being a thing so um see if it turns no um so that's not counting either for our disengagement count it needs to um in 500 feet, turn right onto West Main Street. We're going to turn right up here instead of left. Let's see if we can just navigate us there. Now turn left onto West Main Street. Yeah, so I should turn left here. This is an because uh, it doesn't make sense um when you know the roads around here it doesn't make sense to take a right so that's a good left turn it didn't overturn and it, it was actually really good actually i'll have a left turn now your destination is on the right. now what we're gonna do is um come back across the highway Now turn left to stay on West Main Street. Okay, let's see if it flies through this. It should stop or should not. Okay, that's going to be a disengagement because it's not. It's. Let me turn this camera here. So there is a bridge. Um, you can't even hardly see it right there. There's a bridge right here. And you cannot see to your right. Like, you can't see if a car is coming. It's just going to launch out and go into the road without checking that there's a car coming right there. And that's not acceptable. Like, clearly I can see there's not a car at this point. And so I'm just going to let it go. But before, that's happened before, it just launches out. So that will be our first true disengagement on this drive because that's not acceptable and so we'll see how it does going through Saluda here seems odd that it, it's it's not seeing these lines on the side of the road so n this is the first version I think to do that normally it would stay closer to the yellow line and finally no hesitancy going through that blinking yellow uh, it seems like previous updates would still have a tiny bit of hesitancy right there. I'd be curious to know, um, coming from the opposite direction, this is a school zone right here. And so, coming from the opposite direction, it goes from 35 at this intersection down to 20 right where I am. And so, it doesn't slow quick enough. I'd be curious if it slows quick enough now. And see right here, it's going to go up to 35, which is dumb because it just needs to slow down for a turn immediately. So it's good. It's not speeding up. That's what no we want. That's exactly what we want. Oh. As soon as it saw this car, it freaked out. It was like, car around us must not mess up. Must not mess up. <laughs> and it just automatically just freaks out because now there's a car showing up. Um... No, it wasn't made it. It made the turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a hard phantom brake for no reason at all. Um, yeah, that's why you always have to have your foot over the pedal. Like, that would have jammed from, like, 45 down to 20 mile an hour. That, that's a pretty hard phantom brake right there. We got school buses. I think we're not going to have to deal with them. They're off over here on the left side of the road. Uh 
but otherwise, um, yeah, I'm this this version so far is thumbs up. That map data really makes a difference. Mike um, from Cyber Owners, uh, if you watched his content, he got the map update with 10.9 early. Um, he did some videos last week, and there's several spots um, that have been fixed for him. He's actually been having zero disengagement drives that he's never had before. This map data in our area is very critical to having a good experience. It slowed a little bit for that semi. It's really interesting. Like the semi is not moving, but it's still slowed as if it was trying to come out into my lane. That was, oh, I was gonna say that was great. Um, and it still says slowed as the truck started turning. I don't understand, the, the, the hand wheel thing is much more aggressive. I bet the NTHSA um, really uh, in, um, double down on the hand like grip thing. I'm like, I'm holding the wheel, I'm looking forward, but the thing is still blinking. It seems much more assertive in terms of like enforcing the hand, the, the blinking thing, make sure you're paying attention. Good and bad thing, because like I'm paying attention, my hand's like pulling down on the wheel, but it still doesn't register it. I don't know. But everyone, I'm so far very happy. My goal, today is Friday, my goal tomorrow, Saturday, is to go up to Astral, do our Astral test, and get a lot of videos out for you to get figure out what has changed. I'm very excited with this new map data for some very big improvements. So get subscribed for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.